His faith forbid it. The United Methodist Church defrocked a Pennsylvania pastor for presiding over his son's same-sex wedding. Reverend Frank Schaefer. Guilty by a jury of 13 ordained clergy members. The pastor was asked to sign a statement saying he'd never perform another gay wedding. He refused. Explaining three of his four children are gay. You had hoped that this might make a difference in the church. There are many in the United Methodist Church that are LGBT folks. The Bible does not approve of homosexuality. In Compatible with Christian teaching. We are talking about people that were created in the image of God. Do you believe it was worth it? I do. This is getting the conversation started. This is only the beginning. I will not give up the fight. What happens now? Will you continue to speak out? Will you continue to minister? The Reverend Frank Schaefer. <laughs> it is such an honor to be here this morning. My calendar is pretty full. For the frog ministers, I have an awful lot of preaching to do. People want to hear me share the story, and I am more than willing to do it because I think sharing my story will bring healing to the church. I can no longer go back to be a silent supporter, but I now will be an advocate, an activist, speaking for our LGBT brothers and sisters in the church and beyond. Initially when you did this, you weren't trying to be a celebrity or some national advocate for marriage equality. You're doing it for the love of your son. Thank you for the kinds of parents you've been. We don't all have parents like you. You ask, will you see the church change? What are we going to do? This is not about doctrine. This is not about theology. It's about the life of people. If it is worth changing, it is worth staying the course and continuing the journey. There is a human rights movement underfoot, and I think this will lead to change soon. You know, one thing I realized throughout this trial and in the aftermath of the trial is how our family's story has connected with people all across the spectrum. Thank you so much for your witness. Oh. Keep doing what you're doing. You inspire me every day. We're backing you a thousand percent. And I'm grateful for visionary people who see this also as an opportunity to help keep the dialogue going. My father was a Methodist minister, and so when I heard Pastor Frank's story, I connected with it in such a deep way that I knew I had to make a film about it. What I did was an act of love. It was really an act of love for my son. This was an act of love. No matter what side of the fence you're on, it's so important to keep talking about these issues. And that's what I intend to do with this documentary. But we need your help. We need your support to bring this story close to the hearts of the people so that we really truly can make a difference and bring about change.